Well, Dave, what you okay. say? Yeah. This is a uh, Zev Electric LRCX. This is the pro well, the first prototype or the first of production. Uh, this bike's a 115 mile an hour motor scooter that we choked back to 93 mile an hour for production. It has 30 kW. Uh, Dave's here from the UK to drive our various bikes as a test rider. It's 21 degrees out, which kind of makes high speed runs and buffing a little tough today, but hopefully, it's you, cold. Got, hopefully you got a good drive. No, it's, it's good, but it was cold, that's all. So, yeah, no, very, very impressive. In fact, when I was on the highway, I actually switched it back from top setting to second setting because it was more comfortable to ride that way. But it, yeah. with three, it would have gone much faster. Right. But I was getting up to about 70, 75 in, in the second gear, but not full throttle, so, yeah. Yeah, it'll, uh, even in the, the second gear, it'll pull about 85, 86. Yeah, I believe that. Uh, in third gear, then that's maniac mode. Uh, we, were get, we were just getting a lot, a lot of wind buffeting and in the cold air and so on. Uh, but the bike didn't have any problems performing in the cold, it was just that it was cold for the human being, that's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how do you like the brakes on this one? So, but yeah, very comfortable to ride um, with the positions, of course, you know. Um, but yeah. Very powerful. And this, uh, you don't really lose any space to speak of. When you do the large battery pack, you still have a monster space that yeah. hold, holds a full face helmet and then some. That will, that will fit a full face. Oh, yeah. And then you could put a helmet lock on it or something to. Well, it, it locks on. down under the seat, and we can add additional helmet locks if, you, if someone really wanted yeah, yeah. no problem. Or a back box. Yeah. So I can put a lock on either side of this bar here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, like all these EVs, everything that you need to access for the it's check, checking the vehicle is right there, sort of under the hood, if you will. Accessible. Okay. Uh, no, it's very comfortable ride because, because it's quite a long, long machine, so it gives you a comfortable ride. Mm -hmm. and very cool. Well, this is what a lot of people in the UK have been asking about. They want a, a bike. This this bike will run over 200 miles in it, miles, so 300 kilometers, 300 kilometers on a on a charge. Okay. And that's what they seem to be asking for from the UK. So uh, okay. the bike has reverse. I use that a couple of times to get around. Yeah, it works fine. It spoils you when once you've had reverse, you're spoiled. What I did like is, and I noticed it on this one, it, the setting was quite good because it's very gentle on the reverse. Well, we've got the reverse dialed back so that you yeah. don't get all that power. In the, yeah, because you don't want it going back, otherwise you're going to fall off. Because, right. But when I twisted the throttle, you have to twist the throttle quite a bit, to get, which is a good thing. That's why we did it that way. Yeah. So it doesn't take off when you're going backwards. You don't, you don't want too much power going backwards. Very gentle going backwards. Um, and then of course you slick it back and move forward. Uh, so th this switch on the LRCX, it basically we've got three completely different programs in the controller. So we can set it for, uh, we have three different programs on the switch and then we have three different variants of that. So, for the, so the customers can drive it in like a performance mode, you know, which generally has all of the settings higher, then something a little softer, and then there are some customers who really don't want this to be any more powerful than the standard LRC. They just want range, range, and range. Extra range. Okay. You know, they're looking to try to squeeze it out more towards 400 okay. kilometers by right. just running the econ mode mostly and uh, you know, not running such high, high speeds. Yep. This, this bike will cruise at 80 mile an hour with no problem, you know, or even faster if you want to. Uh, I've cruised at steady 80. Uh, even you know, the traffic around here runs 80, 85 mile an hour, so I run with the traffic 
uh, not too smart to be trying to run 90 and 80 traffic, you know, yeah, yeah. in case you have a problem, man, the police pick out a yellow bike real easy. So, I, but if I can cruise 80, 85, that's flying for, for I mean, I was, I was trucking along at about 70, which is our speed limit in the UK, but I was in the second. Yeah, you no. weren't even in the, no, in the maximum power. I wasn't in the maximum power. Right. It wasn't, didn't seem necessary. It was that's, easy to maneuver and control it. That's how I drive is, if I'm out driving, if I feel, let's say I'm going up a hill and I want a little more acceleration or I want to pull out in front of a truck on a two-lane road, I'll bump the power setting up. Yeah. But otherwise, you know, once you're moving, you don't need any more power to simply maintain speed. So, the... Uh, yeah, that's good. All right. Well, I'm glad you came and drove it. So am I. <laughs> All right, thanks, Dave. Yeah.